This exercise video is presented by Active Health Services for Life Mark Seniors Wellness. So have a seat, take a load off. On your chair though, heart lifted and your back flat. I want your feet flat on the floor. So wherever that on the chair, wherever you sit on the chair that gives you that, that's perfect. Three breaths. In through your nose, and pull from your belly or diaphragm, so you'll feel your belly expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, your belly button comes towards your spine. You don't need to push hard with this, just nice, easy breaths. Relax your shoulders. You should be able to get a couple more in there. Excellent. All righty. Let me get you to... Again, keep your heart lifted and your back flat. Turn your head to your right hand side. And just gonna glance in behind with your eyes. Excellent. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to center. I'm gonna get you to start, just lift your heels up a little bit. Heel lifts, okay. And turn your head to your left hand side this time. And again, just glance in behind with your eyes. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to center. Excellent. Chin to chest. Look towards your chin. And your eyes back in line with your head. And your head back up to center. One more. Lift your chin up. A gentle stretch on your neck. And look up. your eyes back in line with your head and then your head back to center excellent just drop your arms down some circles through your shoulders it's nice and easy just find what feels good here if you've been shoveling all morning uh, again just find what feels good excellent and change direction when you're ready Bring your down, shoulders down to a rest. Fantastic. Hands back on your knees. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. Uh, we'll go one at a time. So alternate side to side. One side up and down, and the other side up and down. So we're gonna do a few more here. Again, find what feels good. It's just still warming up or getting your uh, synovial fluid flowing in your joints. Excellent. We're just going to do one more time on each shoulder. Breathe into your nose. Excellent. Shoulders down. Just give them a little shake there. Fantastic. Hands on your knee again. Your knees rather. We're going to do uh, trunk circles. So keep your heart lifted, your back flat-ish. Your arms are gonna do the work. It's gonna bring you around, front, and then to the back. Excellent. I'm gonna get you to add your breath to this too. So as you go around the front, I'll get you to inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, go around the back. Excellent. And again, find your speed here, whatever works for you today. Right now. Fantastic. When it suits you, you're gonna change direction. And again, your breath is gonna stay the same. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale as you go around the back. Fantastic. One more revolution here. Excellent. And bring yourself back to center. Nice. Fantastic. Let's just go with a, add some heel toe. Pick a leg, doesn't matter which one. Opposite arm, it's going to do a bicep curl. So drop it all the way down. 
Make a fist, bring it up, flex, keep that elbow tucked into your ribs. All right, straighten your fingers out at the bottom and back up again as you flex. Try and keep that foot going. Yeah, perfect. Down, up again. Fantastic, one more. Flex, excellent, release that down. Fantastic, change sides, other foot, heel toe. Opposite arm, keep that elbow tucked into your ribs. Bring it up, flex that muscle, and then release it down. Excellent, just gonna do a few of these here. And again, to find that squeeze when you flex your muscles, find what feels good. You don't wanna strain anything, but you do wanna kinda of wake them up a little bit. Excellent. Down, one more time. Excellent, fantastic. Shake that out. Back to your heel lifts again. Heart lifted. Fantastic. I'm just going to do some toe taps to the front here. So you don't have to go far. Actually, you know what? I think we'll do something else instead. Just lift up one of your legs. The only reason I'm doing this is because as I put my foot forward, it kind of got a creak. And I thought, I hadn't warmed up my ankles quite just yet. So you may not be the same. You may be the same. And just rotate that foot in the ankle joint. Again, not fast. I'm trying to get these joints ready to move. Excellent. Heart lifted. Change direction. Excellent. You can hold that leg up. It's the ankle we're focusing on. So if you need to hold the leg up, do that. Set your foot down. Other side, same thing. So heel toe. Not heel toe, I guess is more of a flex and point. Excellent. Again, same on the side. If you need to hold your leg up, do that. And rotate that foot in the ankle joint. From your view, looking at your toes, you should be drawing circles in front of you with your toes. Change direction. Excellent. Perfect, bring that foot down. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna get you to bring your feet up just a little bit here. And do toe taps to the front now. That's a little bit better, a little warmed up more more efficient. I'm going to add some arms here. So just make sure you've got some room around you. All right, arms, you can reach out front. Just rotate your wrists, fingers, that's it. Perfect. Change direction, roll the other way. Perfect. Stop right there and just wiggle your fingers out front. And flex your wrists up and down. Excellent. One more time up. Down. Fantastic. Reach. Grab. Pull in. Reach. Grab. And pull. Reach. Grab, pull, reach, grab, pull, two more, reach, grab, pull, reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. Shake your arms out. Stay with your toe taps to the front. Heart lifted. Back flat. Your arms up to the side. Palms up. Fingertips together to your shoulders. Elbows together and open and away. Back, elbows together and open and away and back. Excellent. Elbows together and open 
out all the way. Fantastic. You can bring your arms down there. Perfect. Stay with your toe taps. If you can, just have a sip of water. Should have some handy in front of you. If the toe taps while you're drinking is too much, just keep your feet moving. I'll never know. I'm going to come back to them once you're ready. Hands down by your side, palms facing away. So you're going to push from your midline up. Okay. Stay with your toe taps. All right, let's just start with brain stuff right away. So we're going to do two pushes here, two pushes here, catch a baby and clap. Push, push, up, up, catch your baby, clap. Push, push, up, up, catch your baby, clap. Push, push, up, up, catch the baby, clap. Push, push, up, up, catch the baby, clap. Actually, the catch the baby part's the only important part. I'm just going to get you to pick your feet up. Excellent. Uh, pick them up a little higher. Again, work at your own pace. No matter what I say, listen to your body first. Yep. So, as you lift your feet, just give your, make your, uh, push your toes down to give your feet more of a lift. So it's not actually just lifting, you're actually pushing your knees up with your toes, right? Add your arms, perfect. And exaggerate your arms a little more, slow them down, keep your feet going. Again, Breathe in through your nose. Excellent. Bring your arms down a little bit lower. Excellent. Perfect. Bring your feet down. Fantastic. Heels to the front. All right. Hands facing the back this time. There we go. Me on the beat, hands by your side, pushing back, your arms straight, heart lifted. Excellent. And again, find what feels good. Keep your back flat though. Nice. Breathe. Excellent. Fantastic. Keep your heels to the front like you're doing. Drop your hands down. We're gonna lift up and down. <laughs> Swing around here again. Two, three, four. Okay, so heels to the front, arms to the side. Right. Lift up, down, up, and down, and up. Excellent. Like you're lifting up, I don't know, like jugs of milk or something from beside you. Baskets, could be boots, excellent. Heart lifted, breathe, yep. You feel this more in your shoulders than anywhere for sure. Excellent, two more. And up, perfect, bring your arms down, shake it out. Come back to that lift again. All right, keep that rhythm. Perfect. So about halfway on your chair, you don't want to be too far back or too far forward, just wherever's comfortable for you. Add your arms here. So runner's arms, marching arms, whatever you want to call them. When you go wide for a four count, narrow for a four count with our feet. All right, we'll count you in. 
four, three, two, one. So wide, three, two, one. And narrow, three, two, one. And wide, three, two, one. And narrow, three, two, one. And wide, three, two, one. And narrow, two, one. Wide again, three, two, one. And narrow, we're gonna stay right here. Fantastic. Adjust yourself on your chair. Comfortable, fantastic. We're gonna do a little march from the side, back to the front. The other side, back to the front, right? Whenever you're ready, just jump right in. So just like pushing yourself off to one side. Excellent. And then round to the front again. This is good if you're on a slippery chair with pants that allow you to slip. If you're on a, uh, <laughs> like an upholstered chair, this is going to be way more of a challenge. And I applaud you for doing it regardless. Excellent. Breathe. <laughs> One more time off to the side. Excellent. Back to center again. And one more time to the other side here. And back to center again. Excellent. So you may find that the music's a little slower today. It's actually 10 beats per minute slower. And it should make you make it easier, right? Not so much. Slower pace makes you hold positions longer. And that slower pace is uh, actually really good for you. It makes you work harder as opposed to what you might think, right? Alrighty. Let's change this up again. Heel lifts side, heart lifted, back flat, nice. One arm at a time. Big circles with your arm, bring it around, and then the other side, whoops, same thing. Make sure you have nothing around you. The other side. We're doing a forward, forward circle. there's a technical name for this. Windmill seems to get the point across though quite easily. Front Carl. Change direction. Other way. And back. Excellent. Breathe. Perfect. One more. Fantastic. Shoulders and hands and shake them out. Stay with this rolling march here. And then go for some big uh, arm movements to the front this time. So big cross your arms and bring your arms to the side. That's it. Breathe. Try and keep your feet going. Excellent. Perfect. Two more. One. And last one. Perfect. Fantastic. Again, just let your shoulders come down to rest here. Hands on your knees. Just take a couple of breaths. Have a sip of water. Toe tap to the front. So what we're going to do is going to bring our arms. are going to follow our feet. So back from your midline to the front. Lift your arms. Follow your feet. Excellent. Both arms going together. Excellent. 
So this toe tap to the front is going to change to a toe tap to the side, and your arms are going to go to the side also. So again, not low, not very high. Option is to bring it uh, shoulder height, but again, listen to your body here. It's kind of a hip opener. You're going to feel uh, your hips working here and your shoulders, all good areas. Excellent. And bring back your toe tap to the front, and your hands follow. Let's turn a little bit here. Fantastic. Breathe. Try that one more time. Head to the side. So side. And you can just do one arm at a time if that works better for you. Watch what's around you. Don't want to knock anything over, especially your water. Excellent. Toe tap to the front, your hands follow. Nice. Fantastic. Stay with your toe taps and change your arms up to push forward. There we go. So hands go with your feet. A slight bend in your arm as you extend them. Fingers up. Excellent. Perfect. One more. We're going to go up. And again, work your own pace. Okay? Still following your toe taps to the front. Breathe. And again, you can do this one arm at a time. Fantastic. And back out front again. Push forward. Excellent. Nice work. And arms down. Shake them out. Back to your rolling march again. So, let your shoulders relax. Try and keep your feet going though as best you can. Excellent. We're just going to cool down a little bit here. Believe it or not, that's almost a half an hour. It's crazy how time flies. Heart lifted, back flat. All right, hands down by your side. Just gonna roll your wrists. All right. Excellent. Roll them up front. Excellent. Change direction. Perfect. And bring your fingertips up and down. Up, and down, and up one more. Every to the sides. Keep your feet going. Excellent. Tilt your arms. Keep your body straight. Push high. Push low. Breathe. Excellent. Back to center. Take another breath. And when you're ready, the other side. Your heart lifted and your back flat. Excellent. Back to center again. Straighten your fingertips out. Just drop them down here for a second. Excellent. Wiggle them. Perfect. Make a fist and flick. Fist, flick. And flick. Excellent. Three more. Flick. Two. And one. Fantastic. Just drop your arms down. Nice work. Fantastic. Um, feet going still? I think I'm pretty good with all that stuff. We'll catch up on other stuff on the way. So, have a sip of water. Just keep your feet going for a few more minutes here. Uh, have a sip of water. We're going to change over to weights. All right. You can sit or stand for weights. I'll sit for them today, but you don't have to. Lots of options. Excellent. Okay. 
<laughs> you see me crawling around here with the weights, looking for weights? Yours should be much closer than that. <laughs> you shouldn't have to be crawling around for weights. Plenty of taking me this long to figure that out. Heart lifted, your back flat. All right, you can let your feet go here. Drop your arms down by your side. Let's go for a, go for a lateral lift. So the arms are coming out by your side. Okay. You just need to make sure that your feet are flat on the floor, heart's lifted, and your back is flat. Okay. And if you're standing, you're standing rather, your knees need to be soft. Okay. Uh, I'll go one at a time. So one arm up and down. The other side. Down, nice and smooth, just like a, just like clockwork. Excellent. I'm gonna do eight. I'm gonna do eight today. You have a choice to do whatever number suits you. Bring it up. And down. Your side. And down. Up. Excellent. Side, down, perfect. Down to the last two. Last one. Excellent. Bring your arms down to your rest. If you're seated, you can just put your hands in your hips, your weights in your hips. If you're using weights, put your hands on your lap. If you're not, it's all good. All right, let's go to the front this time. So again, hands down by your side. This time your hands are facing towards the back. Okay. Bring your arms up one at a time. Up, down, the other side. Up, and down. Just like clockwork. Add your breath, don't forget to breathe. Important stuff. Moving. Excellent. Perfect. Three more. And two. by your side. It's going to do a different one here. We've done it once before, but haven't done it since. So again, you want to be closer to the edge of your chair. Okay. Feet uh, about hip width apart. You want to be able to rest on them or your version of rest. And your hands are down by your side. If you can leave your late weight or keep your weights on the floor, that's fine. No problem. Okay, so we're going to do Pick up your weights, keep your elbows tucked, rotate your weights. Now your hands are facing the floor and you're gonna go out, back in, rotate again and drop them down. A lot of rotating here. Up and keep your elbows tucked, rotate, and extend out, back, rotate, Set your arms down. Excellent. You can do a couple more here. This is kind of a weird one, so I don't want you to push too hard on this. So up, rotate, you know, push forward, back, rotate, and then arms down. So I don't quite rest on my uh, legs. If you do, that's fantastic. Um, if you don't, it's not a big deal, okay? Again, up, elbows tucked, rotate. I'm gonna push forward, back in, rotate. You set your arms down, excellent. One more. Up, rotate, 
push forward, bring it back, rotate again, bring those arms down. Fantastic. I'm gonna get you to leave one of your weights down here and just come back up, nice and easy. Catch your breath. It's a lot of compression on your uh, belly, on my belly too. All right, heart lifted, back flat, and your feet are flat in the floor, okay? Again, work at your own pace, no matter what, right? If, nothing doesn't, if something doesn't work for you, don't do it, all right? Your hands resting, all right? Extend up, and then back down again. Okay. Exhale away, inhale back. It'll give you a good speed. Exhale, inhale back, exhale, excellent, halfway, four more, three, Two, and one, excellent. Keep that weight in close to your body, and in, change hands, okay. and when you're ready, exhale up, inhale back, Five. Keep your back flat. Four. Three. And two. And one. Excellent. Keep that weight in close. Fantastic. Tuck that into your hip and get your other weight and bring it up. Have a sip of water if you like. All right, do a chest press. Elbows up, just weights touching or cams or whatever you're using, fists. And up. Touch your shoulder blades gently in the back, and then back to the front. Fists together, elbows up. So breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one, excellent. Bring those weights down again to your hips, the hip crease. Let your shoulders relax here for a second. Do some, there's a couple more I wanna do. I'm gonna do a little push back here, so I'm just gonna switch up my leg, or my chair rather. I'm gonna drop your arms down by your side, hands facing towards the back, okay. Be flat on the floor. On an exhale, you're gonna push your arms back, keep them straight, and then inhale back to center, All right? Exhale. Tighten up your belly, bring your belly button towards your spine as you exhale. Excellent. Inhale back to center. Back again, hold it for a second, and then slowly back, excellent. Exhale away, hold it for a second, and then back. Exhale, hold, back, 
exhale, hold, back, two more. Last one. Exhale, excellent. Back in line, fantastic. We're done with the weights, but I still wanna do a couple of other things here. So without weights, you just set them aside. Excellent. Perfect. So again, sitting on your chair, take your hands, put on the outside of your knees, and you're gonna push your knees together. So you may want to uh, just keep your feet together too. That makes it a little bit easier. Okay. So push your knees together, your hands. Slowly, you're gonna open your knees, separate your knees with that pressure of your arms. Excellent. And then slowly close your knees back up. Excellent, nice and easy. So breathe, exhale as you bring your knees apart. And then inhale to bring them back. Keep the pressure on the outside. Excellent. Open them up. As you exhale. Inhale back. Excellent. Two more. On a good steady pressure on your knees. You should feel it in your arms and your forearms, probably your uh, wrists a little bit too. Try and keep your back flat as you can. Excellent. Two more. And back together. Nice and smooth. Last one. And exhale to bring your knees back together. Slow all the resistance you can. Perfect. So just to tuck your elbows in, just gonna wiggle your fingers here. Heart lifted, back flat. Excellent. Just gonna do fingers to thumbs here. Make sure everything's working again. <laughs> Usually using weights and that kind of thing, uh, isometric exercises. You need to keep your fingers nimble and working. Excellent. You can wiggle your fingers there. Excellent. You've been practicing that one with the uh, two middle ones and then the two outside ones. And then switching, <laughs> and then switching again. Excellent, good. Keep that up, that's a good one. Uh, weights, let's do some seated strength exercises since we're here. So, the front of your chair. Again, feet flat on the floor, heart lifted. Bring your, grab your elbows. Keep your back flat. Hinge from your hips, and exhale forward. Elbows up, inhale back, just touch your shoulders. And exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Excellent. Doing a fantastic job. Inhale back. Exhale forward one more time. Inhale back. And you're just going to touch and come up and hold it for four. Three, two, one, and all the way up. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. Shake them out a little bit. Fantastic. From here, we'll do a seated toe drag. So, uh, one leg at a time. So bring that toe down. Heart lifted. Back flat. Drag that toe back. Excellent. Same leg. Drag it back. A little bit of friction there. You want to be able to feel that. Uh, hamstring and underneath your leg, it should tighten up a little bit. You want to feel that tightening up. Excellent. Perfect. 
four more, and three, add a little more friction, two, and one. Excellent. Other side, same thing. Bring your toe down and drag it back. Halfway. Four. And three. Two. And one. Excellent. Perfect. Let your legs relax for a second. Um, Well, maybe not quite relaxed. <laughs> About the middle of your chair, you're gonna take some big steps over to one side. So lift that leg up and move to the side, and then the other leg follows. And back to center. And there, perfect. Other side. Flip over that water bottle. Back to center. Excellent. Back to center again. Do one more. Side, side, back to center. The other side for the last time. And then back to center. Fantastic. All right. We're going to do some balance exercises because we can. So let's see, let's start with uh, behind your chair. Okay. I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see me. Adjust what you need to. Take a breath here. Excellent. Okay, so you've got the chair in front of you so you have that for balance. I encourage you to test yourself all the way along, all right? So with both feet, you're gonna come up on the balls of your feet. Okay. Find your balance, fingers up, test yourself. If you get a kink in either of your calves, just lower down just a little bit, it will release. Excellent, perfect. I'll get you to shift your weight, 60% of your weight to one side, excellent, and slowly lower down. Excellent, bring yourself back to center. Back up again, equally, both sides. This time you're going to go to the other side, 60%. Your weight, and then slowly lower down. And back to center. Perfect. Up again. Hold it. And shift your weight. Slowly lower down. Excellent. Back to center. Up again. Hold it. Fantastic. On the other side, shift your weight. And slowly lower back down and back to center. Fantastic. Last time, up, hold, hold it. Nice. Shift your weight to the side and slowly lower down and back to center. You'll feel that on your ankles, which ankles got the weight, there's no doubt about it. Both at the same time, up again. And then over to the other side. Perfect. And slowly lower down and bring yourself back to center. Fantastic. Just come to one of your sides of your chair. And we will put some weight on the outside leg, inside leg. I'm just going to pedal. Okay. You need to use your chair and hold on to it. Find your balance before you let go. And okay. Outside arm, we're going to add the arm. If you find that you can let go of that inside arm, you can add your both arms into this if you like. Excellent. Change direction. Excellent. And bring that foot down. Shake your knees, shake your legs, shake your hips, shake your shoulders. Fantastic. Inside leg. It's going to be your weight-bearing leg. 
outside leg. We're going to bring that leg out. Okay. You're going to wrap that foot around your ankle. Hold on to your chair if you need to. Heart lifted, back flat. Open up that hip. You're going to feel it in your hip. Not hurting, but you want to know that you've engaged it, right? You're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Right? Make that ankle work a little bit. Breathe. Fantastic. Set that foot down. Nice. Shake that a little bit. In behind your chair. Feet parallel. Again, come up on your toes. Excellent. Hold it. Catch yourself. Slowly lower your heels back down to the floor. And then into a squat. Excellent. Check that your knees are behind your toes. If they aren't, you're going to have to set your bum back a little bit. Excellent. Come back up. Nice and easy. Excellent. Back up on your balls of your feet. Excellent. Hold it. Excellent. Lower back down into a squat again. Fantastic. Inhale back up. On the balls of your feet. Hold it. Kind of balancing here, right? Eh? Slowly lower back down again to your heels. Last squat. Excellent. And inhale back up. Perfect. Stay right there. You're going to go to the other side of your chair. Perfect. Outside leg is going to be your weight bearing leg. Inside leg is going to pedal. Just nice and easy. And again, outside opposite arm is going to follow that foot. If you can get both arms in, fantastic. If you can't, eh, it's all right. It's something to work on. It's all good. Even when you do get it, though, you still have to work. Excellent. Change direction. Excellent. Perfect. Set that foot down. And again, just kind of shake your knees, hips, shoulders. Excellent. This time your outside leg is going to be your weight-bearing leg. Nope, your inside leg is going to be your weight-bearing leg. <laughs> the one we just were cycling with. Outside leg, open it up. And bring that foot to the calf. I'll turn a little bit more here. Start by holding. Okay. Find your balance. Lift your heart. Breathe. Open that leg up as best you can. I'm going to hold this for 10 seconds. Halfway. Fantastic. Bring that leg back in. Set that foot down. Nice work. Again, just kind of shift things a little bit. Excellent. Uh, let's go with, um, let's do some uh, stretches here. So bring your feet uh, apart, start apart first. So get, get a good stance, right? Just bring your hands out by your side. Extend your fingers to the walls. Excellent. Spread them. That's the ticket. Breathe. From your belly. Excellent. Fantastic. So take an arm, it's gonna come up. Grab your collar, other hand's going to go low, and either just hang or it's going to go around your back like a belt. Excellent. Breathe. Nice even breaths here. Helps with the stretches. Can you touch your fingers in behind? Yeah, me either. Excellent. Now straighten your arms out. Nice and easy. And bring them out to the side again. Open your fingers up. Wiggle them. Perfect. And when you're ready, you know, switch to the other side. Other arm's going to grab your collar this time. Low arm in behind or to the side. Breathe. A couple more breaths.
Excellent. And straighten those arms out. Nice and easy here. Perfect. Let's wiggle your fingers again. Nice. Put the 45 degree mark down low. Internally rotate one hand. The hands facing away. And you're going to externally rotate the opposite. Okay. So both hands are facing away from you, except one's rolled in and one's rolled in. Perfect. Hold that. Breathe. I'm going to rotate the opposite way. So bring those hands around. Nice. And kind of extending your fingers out towards the floor too, a little bit. But again, listen to your body. Breathe. Excellent. One more time. Rotate that the opposite way. Excellent. One more breath. Excellent. And bring both your arms down. And relax. Fantastic. And bring your hands to your waist when you're ready. Excellent. Do a little hip shift. Uh, sorry, sorry. Do a little hip shift. So just shift your hips to one side. All right. You should feel a stretch. In that long leg. If you get a cramp, again, be gentle. Back off if you get one. And if you don't feel a stretch in that leg, you can lean a little more into it. Depends how you feel today. Breathe. Feel your belly expand as you inhale. Bring your belly button to your spine as you exhale. Perfect. On an inhale, bring yourself back up to center. And straighten up your hips, back, shoulders. Take a breath. And then the other side. When you're ready, you just shift your hips to the other side this time. And lean into it. If you feel that's good for you today. And then three breaths. Excellent. And on an inhale, bring yourself back up. Excellent. Perfect. We'll do one more. Bring your arms down and feet back together. Excellent. So a pencil stretch. Your feet are together. More of a balance and stretch at the same time. Hold on to your chair if you need that for balance. I encourage you to <laughs> take your hand off and test yourself. Open the opposite hand away. Inhale it up. Big stretch up. Excellent. Reach, 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 reach. Fantastic. On an exhale, rotate your hand and drop that arm down. Nice and easy. Perfect. Other side, same thing. When you're ready, your hand away, inhale up. Fantastic. You rotate your hand and you're going to exhale that arm down. Nice and easy. Perfect. Fantastic. Bring your feet apart one more time. I'm going to go into a little squat. Cross your arms in front. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Inhale down. Inhale up last time. And just your arms come down this time. Fantastic. Nice work.
Excellent for a cold day.